Hi, uh, my name is Dana Tracy, and this is my final um, IMC presentation for Rhino Soft Serve and Frozen Yogurt. So Rhino's Frozen Yogurt and Soft Serve. So Rhino's is obviously a frozen yogurt and soft serve shop that also offers gelatos and sorbets. So they fit into the self-serve and, you know, build your own dessert category. Um, Rhino's is a family owned and operated self-serve frozen yogurt store that offers 23 flavors. Um, and of those 23 flavors, um, they also offer over 100 toppings for your creamy and frozen treat of choice at just 49 cents an ounce. So the target market persona for um, Rhino's soft serve and frozen yogurt is adults, both men and women between the ages of 30 and 55 that have families that live in the suburban parts of Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky. I imagine these families make a minimum income of $50,000 annually and enjoy going out on small outings in order to spend time with each other. So they also like to focus on their health and wellness. So the people that are eating this product shouldn't feel any guilt, you know, for indulging in a dessert. Their experience at Rhino should be fun, exciting, and family oriented. Um, so one of Rhino's competitors located on Kenwood Road, so just, you know, down the road from Rhino's would be Grater's Ice Cream. Great is and what makes them different is that they do a French pot small batch creation process. So all of their ice cream is created in very, very, very small batches rather than doing a mass production. Another fun feature of graders is that they have hand chipped chocolate chips. So you kind of never know um, what size your chocolate chips are going to be in the graders ice cream. And another feature that they have that makes them different is that they have a bakery. So that's really good for the winter time because they offer products like do um, donuts and hot cookies and hot drinks like hot chocolate, coffee, and stuff like that. Another competitor for Rhinos would be Dairy Queen. So Dairy Queen, again, just down the road from Rhinos, they're located on Kenwood Road in Blue Ash. Um, they offer a diverse menu that includes food items, you know, chicken fingers and fries, but they also offer smaller snack menu items like soft pretzels and cheese, cheese curds, as well as all of their, you know, ice cream that they have. They are also very well known and famous for their blizzards. And I know in this most recent presidential election, Joe Biden was featured in so many photos of him holding um, Dairy Queen blizzards and doing the blizzard test, which is where you turn the blizzard upside down and the ice cream is supposed to be like so well blended that it's supposed to stay in and stick. Um, so I know that that's an interesting feature um, of Dairy Queen as well, as well as of course their affordable pricing. So the IMC ob objective for Rhinos should be awareness. So Rhinos frozen yogurt and soft serve needs to increase their brand awareness so it becomes a more common, you know, household name and a place for families to gather and enjoy treats that that, you know, are healthier than that of their competitors. So the objective here is to increase awareness of Rhino's store and mobile trailer to parents ages 30 to 55 from 20 to 60 percent by December of 2021. So how are we going to get there? Um, I have six recommendations that I'm going to present today. My first one being billboards. So billboards are a really easy way to show creativity and to reach a large number of people in the Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky area. Billboards are also have really high recall rates, which is extremely good um, for Rhino's brand. So you would purchase three billboards, one Interstate 75, one Interstate 71, and then one close to the Rhino's frozen yogurt location. So you can use obviously an ice cream cone that's flipped upside down to like represent the rhino's horn um you know you can make that light up um so that way people can see it at all times of day my second recommendation for rhinos would be the direct mail coupons so direct mail mail coupons um will allow consumers to see rhino's name and you know also give people incentive to go and visit the store and try their products so rhinos can target people within a certain area and miles radius of the store. So you would send coupons to household by mail and zip codes that are within about 20 miles of the store. So, you know, ideas for coupons, you could do a 20% off, a buy one, get one 50% off, 
or maybe like a first two to three ounces free since they measure um, their price by the ounce. My third recommendation would be Facebook ads. So you can have Rhinos purchase Facebook ads and this will drive traffic to Rhinos website. So Facebook is great because it opens lines up for communication between Rhinos and consumers. And since social media is extremely popular right now, it's gonna be a really good way um, to interact with customers. So, you know, you would purchase Facebook ads that would appear on the feeds of the target market. So that would be the, you know, men and women ages 30 to 55 with families. My fourth recommendation would be to purchase search ads. So search ads are great because they will create awareness and you know distribute information. Um, and this will also create more visibility for rhinos. So you would purchase ads that pop up on a results page when people search keywords. So examples of keywords would be dessert, um, ice cream, and stuff like that. My fifth recommendation, and this is my personal favorite, is a Facebook post. So you would post on Facebook um, something that would engage viewers, um, something that would be interactive. So my um, idea would be to make a post that poses a question and then elicits a response. So this could be in the form of a poll. So you could ask consumers, what is your favorite ice cream topping? And then your options could be sprinkles, hot fudge, um, you know, a maraschino cherry and stuff like that. And since Rhinos has a hundred different toppings, this is also a really great way to advertise some of those unique options that they have that a competitor does not. I also think this is good because it can kind of incite some friendly debate amongst people on social media. Um, and, you know, you can kind of discuss with other people why, you know, hot fudge is the best topping or isn't the best topping. You could also ask questions, you know, really simple like chocolate or vanilla and again it's just a way for rhinos to be able to engage with consumers and for people to share fun content like this so that way more people are seeing the rhinos brand my sixth and final recommendation would be banner ads so you would purchase banner ads for rhinos that would create buzz um, and then it would also you know create awareness of course of the trailer feature which is extremely unique to rhinos as well um, so you would purchase the banner ads that appear on websites when a consumer searches for a similar topic. So this is an idea of what the IMC schedule would look like. So obviously you want to have billboards go between the months of May and September because those are prime, you know, summertime and end of spring months. So that's really warm weather, popular time for frozen desserts. Direct mail coupons, October through December, that's when you need a little more incentive. You would offer that discount that provides incentives for consumers to come in on months um, where they might want a warmer dessert. Um, Facebook ads to appear uh, January through April and search and banner ads again to appear in you know similar summertime and springtime months where weather is warmer and where people have incentive you know um, to go and get a frozen dessert on a really hot day and then a Facebook post I have scheduled for May but you could obviously you know do a fun poll once a month and you know kind of make it a unique tradition of the website um, I think May would be a great time to do it because that's when you know weather is really starting to stay consistently warm and I think that that's a fun way to kind of introduce the you know summertime season which obviously introduces you know frozen desserts and treats and stuff like that my um, final slide here is the IMC budget. Um, when you total out the budget, it does only come to about a little over $39,000. So with the budget originally um, being presented with $50,000, there is a lot of room for flexibility here. So if we decide that TrekMail coupons are working, I think this is good because, you know, you have extra money to send out more if you want to try and incentivize more people or even reach people in, you know, a further mile radius. So you can send out more coupons to people that might be a little farther away from the rhinos location um, obviously again facebook posts are free so those are great and you can do as many of those as you want of course as long as they're tasteful and you know make sense all right so in conclusion i think that this imc plan that i have laid out for rhino soft serve and frozen yogurt is guaranteed to to raise their brand awareness. I think that these are surefire ways to increase brand awareness from the 20% to 60% by December of 2021. I think this will create a lot of buzz about the brand and get people talking. And I think that once you know these IMC tactics 
are executed, um, not only will people know more about Rhino in their location, the mobile trailer as well. And I think that people will try and take advantage of that knowledge and, you know, use their knowledge of the mobile trailer um, to, you know, have them at events and gatherings and stuff like that. Um, so thank you so much for listening to my presentation.